It's time for Thursday's long shot look at Kentucky Downs. We head to race number five, which will be a mile and five sixteenths allowance affair. And we're going to try to scratch that itch to get in the winner's circle with the 12 Schleb Ati. Schleb Ati going back on turf for the first time in a couple starts has been running on the all weather, but had a vast figure improvement from the maiden breaking score to the allowance optional claiming event last time out at Arlington Park on August 6th and should see some pace to run into. Ran into a four horse field last time and this is a horse that needs some pace and should be able to close late especially given the added distance here. So we're going to look at two all-weather efforts. This is the mating breaking score back on July 3rd and in the seventh saddle cloth you'll see Schlab Ati come with a very easy move on the outside and just obviously not even being asked is just going to pass this field. Now we'll be asked in the stretch here and there is some question about you know the distance here this was a mile and a sixteenth we're going a mile and five sixteenths today so you'll see the jockey has to get a little busy here Declan Carroll on this day we'll have Adam Biskitza up today at Kentucky Downs but a pretty good maiden score here for Schleb Ati winning by eight and a quarter lengths in the end so next time out a little over a month later on August 6th You'll see this is just a four horse field and the one to five favorite had a pretty easy time of things up front. Schleb Ati in second place there wearing the two saddle cloth. And you'll see here that just was a little too into the race early. Didn't really have a choice. Was uh, much the second best here and does give a lot of effort in the stretch. And I'm looking for that effort to be able to close into this mile and five sixteenths of fair. A full field of horses at Kentucky Downs. Good luck today in your gambling endeavors, and hopefully we'll get on the scoreboard.